my name is Callie Scott. I'm the Early Years and Child Care Team Leader in Children's Services at Royal Greenwich. My parents are from uh, the northwest of India in an area called Punjab, the land of the five rivers. They are Sikh heritage. When Britain, after the Second World War, wanted to rebuild the country and invited people from the former colonies, including India, to come to the UK to help rebuild the country, to support the manufacturing industry, um, to support the transport industries, the National Health Service and so on. My parents came in the early 1960s and they left the Punjab, they left India because they were so traumatised as children that they wanted to go to a, a land of hope and optimism. And, and they felt that England was the mother country, so they felt like they were, would be coming home and helping rebuild the country. They didn't expect it to be as cold as it was. And so one of the kind of most vivid memories is how cold it was, how black the skies were from the smoke, um, the rain, and, and I think just the not feeling like you were welcomed. And they worked in, both my parents worked in the iron foundries, so they did man of, you know, heavy labor and they couldn't speak English, they came, they came here with nothing and they had to find a way of making a life here. When my parents bought their first house, it was really hard for them because they were physically, felt physically unsafe in their own home. Their windows were smashed and their house was one of the houses that were firebombed. People would put petrol bombs through the letter flaps of every house that was owned by black or brown families from either the West Indies or from India or from Africa. Uh, when I think about the Rendrush generation, I really do think of the vibrancy of cultures. And I think that's one of the joys of the Rendrush generation is their resilience, their, the way that they persevere, the courage, and just the bravery it takes to leave your family and travel across the world, but then to raise your own family and to carve out your own place in British society. And I hope that I'm as good an ancestor as my, my ancestors have been. So like our next generation and the generation afterwards to celebrate everything that's different about us and celebrate everything that we have that really speaks to the human, the human spirit of joy. I think that's one of the things that I think about the Windrush generation. After everything they've been through, after all the hostility and the exclusion and the marginalization, we are still a vibrant community.